Hi, I'm Carrie Benjamin. I'm the founder and esthetician of Stack Skincare. And today I want to talk to you about high frequency. High frequency is a device used to kill acne causing bacteria. It's, um, it has a wand with an electrode and what it does is it generates um, oxygen or ozone and they, these are argon gas in an electrode and when it hits the skin, it's going to generate oxygen which is gonna kill the bacteria and calm the inflammation on contact. The device comes with a handle, uh, four electrodes, so a couple different shapes, and also one that's a comb shape that's uh, really great for stimulating um, hair, your hair follicle to help hair growth. And this one is actually a noble gas or neon gas, and this is gonna be orange. And the other electrodes are argon gas, which is violet, and you have a pointed shape one, a mushroom shape one, and a spoon shape one to get in the different areas of your face. And I'm going to show you how to use all of them. So you always want to have clean, dry skin before you use the device. So first wash your face, and then you're going to plug the device in, and then you'll choose which electrode you want to use. Um, this mushroom shape is really nice to use on the cheeks because it's a little bit of a bigger area. Um, the spoon shape one you can even get under your eyes. Um, and the pointed shape one is really great for pimples and cystic acne to really spot treat. You can also use the back of this one if you want to use a larger area um, or even get you know in on here or in on your neck. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to just simply pop the electrode in, um, you're going to turn the device on, and you'll start to hear um, a buzzing noise. Um, when you put it on your skin, you want to feel about a, like a 5 on, on a 1 to 10, about a 5 tingling sensation. Don't go too high. If you crank it up too high, you can dry out your skin. You're going to compound the problem with the acne. So no more than a 5. You want to use it no more than a couple minutes on any given spot or acne lesion and no more than 15 to 20 minutes all over your whole face. You can safely use this daily. Uh, you want to make sure that you follow up with the appropriate um, topical solutions and hydration to ensure that you're not drying your skin out. One of the things that's kind of interesting about the device is the further away from your skin it is, the deeper the penetration. So um, I like to use gauze. And for two reasons. One, it does uh, drive that, um, uh, the, the tingling sensation a little deeper into the skin. And it also makes it much easier to maneuver the device around your face. So you don't want to go any more than a quarter inch thick. So you can take a square gauze piece. Um, if you want, you can keep it at this, this um, flat or you could even fold it over a little bit. You're going to turn the device on. You're gonna hear that kind of that's, uh, <laughs> tingling sensation. Now, if you hold your finger on the electrode and put it on your face, you're not gonna feel anything because it's grounded. So the minute you take your finger off, you're gonna to start to feel a slight tingling sensation. If you put the, you put the gauze on and remove it, you're gonna feel it a little bit deeper. And you can really tell by moving that away from the skin, I can feel it's a lot, a lot more tingly. And so this will allow you to also more easily maneuver it around your face. And the other thing that you can do is if you have a pimple or um, a cystic spot there, you can, what we do is call sparking. And you can spark it um, to get it a little bit deeper and then continue to maneuver in like a circular motion. Now, the scent that you're gonna be smelling is ozone, because that's what this is happening. Argon gas in the electrode, when it touches the skin, is generating oxygen or ozone. So you're gonna have um, that scent that you're gonna smell. Don't be freaked out, your skin isn't burning. Um, what you're smelling is ozone. The electrodes are really simple to remove. Make sure you always turn off the device. And then I like to take a tissue. If you're using gauze, you can go ahead and use the gauze. They are glass, so it's better to be safe. You can just pull it straight out. Um, and then you can just wipe it down with some alcohol and then you're going to put it back in the case. And then again, if you want to use a different electrode, you can just put it right into the device, 
turn it on, ground it with your finger, put your gauze on your face, and then begin the treatment. Now, for your hair, um, you can use a gauze if you want. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. I would go ahead and just turn the device on. Get to a comfortable tingling sensation and go ahead and work in whatever areas of the scalp where you're noticing some hair loss. Again, you're just gonna turn the device off, use the gauze to pull it straight out, and then again, you can disinfect it with alcohol, just spray it on, wipe it off, and put it back in your container. Okay, so now that you know how to use it, this is gonna have, be how you would incorporate it into your skincare routine. Um, again, you're always gonna wanna cleanse your skin first. Um, I always recommend my acne clients to use our Epidermal Growth Factor um, Activating Serum. It's our EGF serum, it's plant-based. These are great for speeding up cell turnover and speeding up healing, so they're really great for treating acne and dark spots. You can apply a layer of this after you cleanse your skin and then use the high-frequency device. And then when you're finished, you want to make sure that you moisturize your skin properly. So we're always going to use our HA Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Serum. You're going to apply a layer of this and then finish with your daily moisturizer. And that would be an entire treatment um, that's going to help you treat your acne and calm the inflammation as well as help lift the dark spots.